The following video is a recap of the Canto Tour event. Welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I talk about one of the best events to ever come to Pokemon Go, the Kanto Tour, and the $11 ticket that was worth the price especially with the rewards that you got, including Shiny Ditto. Join me as I recap my fun and wonderful experience I had during this amazing event. Well, the Kanto Tour was an exciting day. I'll never forget. And here's what I did that day, everyone. I was able to get a lot of shinies which you will see at the end of this video and I talk about what I did the various activities and quests and tasks needed to complete this fun filled day this day was fun filled and of course I had to do a lot of things from doing a lot of raids to Catching different species of Pokemon, evolving, not to mention trading, as well as defeat the challengers that were put into the game as well. And of course, I'll never forget when I finally caught some shinies here and there. And you will see at the end of the video how many I got. And of course, after this clip, I explain what the tasks I had to do during this event. And not to mention, I also had to do a lot of throws. And you see here the confetti. There were a lot of different hours based on the different areas in the Kanto region in Gen 1 and their respective remakes from Gen 3 and 7. For example, whenever it was Palatown hours, it would play a remix of the Palatown theme. Then there would also be a theme for Cerulean City, Fuchsia City, the Pokemon League, and of course, there was even a remix of the Kanto bicycle theme at some point during this event. The footage I'm filming for this video will take longer because of the fact the time it took me to complete these tasks took me about 
close to three or, f- or four hours to finish. But the good news is I'm about to finally catch Shiny Ditto. And then after that, it's on to Shiny Mew. And then for the rest of the time, just plain old Shiny Hunting. I finally did. I finally caught Shiny Ditto. And now it's on to the quest for Shiny Mew. Stay tuned to see if I'm successful in completing that special research task as well. Well, Canto Tour Day is in the books. My final shiny count, 22. 22 shinies, including Ditto. But unfortunately, I will not be able to catch Mew in this video. I may have to do that another time because it turns out the quest involving Mew will take a bit longer. It's a little bit easier if you'd already have the Platinum for all the Kanto Pokemon registered in the Pokédex. And of course, having all 151 Pokemon, which requires you to complete the quest where you catch non-shiny Mew in order to get 151 of the original Pokemon from Gen 1. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times, when heading out, always wear a mask. Practice social distancing. Stay six feet apart. Avoid large crowds. Wash your hands. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Get vaccinated if you're eligible at the moment. And most importantly, stay safe and stay healthy. And together, we will get through these dark times together.